Bake sales are about the least controversial event that you can think of, but there's going to be one in California where what you pay depends on the color of your skin and also your gender. Here are the prices. $2 for white people, a buck fifty for Asians, a dollar for Latinos, 75 cents for blacks, a quarter for Native Americans, and all women get an extra quarter off. College Republicans are putting on the sale at the University of California, Berkeley on Tuesday. It's actually a protest of sorts against legislation that would allow UC to consider race or national origin in its admission process. For tonight's What Matters, our partnership with Essence Magazine, I spoke with the president of the Berkeley College Republicans. His name is Sean Lewis and Tim Wise, activist and author of White Like Me, Reflections on Race from a Privileged Son. Lewis says he knows this bake sale is pushing buttons for a lot of people. We did expect opposition. We, we expected a lot of outrage from this event. Um, we, we didn't expect, first, the volume, the amount of response that we got in the first few hours, hundreds of posts on our Facebook page. Um, and then, secondly, the, the tone of some of the responses. We, we expected people to be upset. We didn't expect personal threats to be made. There were implicit and explicit threats made to the organizers of the event, mm -hmm. to burning down the table, to throwing our baked goods at us and other kinds of um, physical threats. So we didn't expect... You have no plans on canceling this bake sale on Tuesday, right? No, the bake sale will go on uh, with the pricing structure. So, Tim Wise, um, mm. do the Berkeley College Republicans have a point? Well, I'm not sure. I mean, you know, it seems like there are a lot of ways to make a point about your disagreement with, uh, with affirmative action, for instance, without doing a sarcastic, rather smarmy slap at people of color. I mean, I, I get the joke. Their joke is, you know, they believe um, that affirmative action holds people of color to a lower standard and they are going to also uh, hold them to a different pricing structure for their brownies. How very original. It's been done for 15 years. It's not an original joke. The point that I think needs to be made and which they often ignore and conservative students generally ignore is that by the time anyone steps on a college campus, whether it's Berkeley or any other school in the UC system or any college in this country, there has already been 12 to 13 years of institutionalized affirmative action for white folks. That is to say, racially embedded inequality, which has benefited those of us who are white. And it's only at the point of college admission that these folks seems to get concerned with color consciousness, with thinking about race. But there's been 13 years. I mean, right now in the state of California and all across the country, Schools that serve students of color mostly are 10 times more likely to be places of concentrated poverty than the schools that white students went to. But I don't see the Berkeley Republicans rising up in arms about that inequality. Um, and so do you understand what Tim Wise, you may not agree with it or what have you, but do you understand what he's saying about historically, about, about the sure. history of racism in this country, college admissions and all of that? Do you get what he's saying? And do you agree? Certainly. And the, the, the two points that he makes are both valid points. But the first one about uh, why make a sarcastic uh, event, why make something that seems to be making a joke a very serious issue. And so the, my response to that, first of all, is... As you mentioned before, Berkeley is a very liberal campus. In fact, our student government is is sponsoring this phone bank, which is taking a position on policy, and it's telling Governor Brown that Berkeley students support this bill. So the reason for the tone of our event, for possible sarcasm of the event, is certainly to draw attention. It's not an original idea. The forum is slightly original because previously, over the past 10, 15 years, bake sales have been made, have been had. Um, on a random day of the week, or just just to make get some you know controversy started. Well, he, okay. ours is at the exact ours is at the same time and location of this phone bank. It's to make a point that we don't have one political view here at Berkeley. Because he said, what about working towards? You're not holding a bake sale for uh, socioeconomic issues. You're holding a bake sale about the about admissions. So he said, exactly. let, yeah. So you want to address that part as well? The reason that we're having a bake sale strictly on race and gender is because that's what the bill does. That's the bill that Governor Brown is deciding on. It's not affirmative action because it doesn't have a quota system because that's unconstitutional right now. Um, uh, uh, but what Governor Brown is deciding is whether to cons let universities consider race um, in, in the admissions process. So that's why our that's bake sale really, is strictly is really focusing accurate. on that issue. Go, go ahead, Tim. It's not really okay. accurate. What, what, the bill what, what the bill would allow would be for Governor Brown, and this is what affirmative action in the post-quota era, which quotas have been illegal essentially for a quarter century, uh, yeah, for 25 years or more, um, would allow him to consider race in the same way that what I'm discussing. You know, if race has played a role 
in the dispensation of educational access and opportunity. If race has mattered, in other words, in terms of opportunity, it would allow him to consider that and allow the admissions officers, let's say in the UC system, to consider that when they're examining applications.